Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks, and we also talk about crypto and other business ventures that generate passive income. Okay, so the video today is about stocks. Uh, please share and like with friends and family. Uh, we saw a rally in the stock market today. On yesterday, the Fed did release some minutes. Uh, I guess they were positive. Uh, and we had a 3.6% gain in the Robinhood portfolio. Uh, so then we also had technology rally, uh, which kept things going uh, up 3%, 38 bucks. Awesome day in the stock market. Okay, so we had Google. Uh, G O G L Google A shares were up 3.36 percent. We had Shopify S H O P up 6.54 percent. Now I do want to mention that in two weeks, uh, around the 15th, uh, that's next week, Google will be splitting its share. So it'll be a five for one. So basically, the shares will come out trading roughly about $128, maybe more depending on the share price of Google. But uh, if you're going to buy Google, uh, probably wait for a week after the split, maybe dip your toe in, uh, get a few shares at 125. But if it's anything like Amazon, it should drop in a few weeks. Okay, so Google will split its stock next week, trading about 125 a share. Okay, some other stuff we saw Coinbase, uh, Coinbase, the cryptocurrency exchange, jumped nine percent today. Uh, we also had Airbnb jump four point five three percent. Now this is a stock that's been down pretty much 20, 30 uh, percent. Airbnb has that been down uh, over the last six months. Uh, it was trading at one fifty. It's now trading ninety seven. But if you're a new investor, uh, Airbnb, you can get it right now under ninety seven dollars. Okay. Uh, one of the top stocks of the day was ChargePoint, ticker symbol CHPT. Again, uh, ChargePoint is an EV play. I talked about this stock last night on the Stop Struggling Now channel. Okay, ChargePoint is an EV play. There will need to be a lot more charging stations around the U.S. so people can charge their electric vehicles. Okay, now this is ahead of the curve. Charge point may not explode again until after 2022. Okay, going into 2023, I'm pretty positive that more electric vehicles will be on the road. We already have Tesla, we have the Ford F-150, we have a Hyundai, we have the uh, Nissan Leaf. We have several vehicles now that people want electric charging for. Okay, and as I mentioned on Stop Struggling Now, I mentioned a lot of these stocks. Uh, if you haven't got a chance, please stop by Stop Struggling Now YouTube with Eric Bird. Okay, real quick, this is Stop Struggling Now live last night. Again, this is Eric Bird, and he's talking about some great stocks out there like Ford. Also, you'll see me over here featured talking about some great stocks. So check out Eric Bird, Stop Struggling Now. Uh, and he has a lot of tips on other business ventures and other uh, ideals in the stock market, okay? So just wanted to bring that to your attention. So back to the stocks today. Again, ChargePoint was up 10.44% on the day. And again, like I said, the need for electrification of vehicles is growing rapidly, okay? Now let's take a look at the news in the market. Uh, this week, we already had Amazon uh, acquire Grubhub. That was the big news this week. Amazon acquired Grubhub. And also, we did see Amazon spike today at 1.69%, up from $113 up to $115. Again, Amazon is a great stock to be in. They do cloud uh, with Amazon Web Services. 
Also, they do Amazon Prime TV subscription, and of course, the traditional products and services they deliver. Okay, some big news. EU passed regulations that may threaten big tech such as Apple. Okay. Also here, MarketWatch Twitter layoffs report contends Eagles must bid is in jeopardy. Okay, the meta platform takeaways, why this analyst sees a near triple upside to meta or Facebook stock on the day was up 0.99%, just about 1%. Um, this is Netflix. Stranger Things split season success may have saved Netflix. Okay, so Netflix today was up 2.36%. Also owned quite a bit of Netflix before it fell this year. Uh, so I'm hoping Netflix will rebound. Microsoft estimates face PC weakness and currency headwinds uh, may face weakness. Okay, so we do know the dollar is pretty strong. Uh, the dollar has been up this week and last week. Uh, it's almost an equal to the pound or the euro. Okay, so Microsoft saying it's facing headwinds there. Uh, Apple reportedly a big factor in Big Ten's night talks. Okay, so Apple TV again is making moves. They're looking at the Big Ten football team. Okay, so that's the Big Ten college football team conference. They're in talks. Uh, Bank of America's consumer spending remains resilient despite inflation. And we know that people are still traveling despite inflation is very at record high and people are traveling. So that's good news. Uh, also, Bank of America did, uh, and many other banks did increase their dividends. So. If you're invested in uh, banking stocks like JP Morgan and Bank of America, you're going to get a better return uh, every three, four months on a quarter. Okay. Uh, all right. Shopify delays pay overhaul amid layoff hiring delays reported at Shopify. Wow. Okay. Uh, that is interesting. Shopify laying off. Wow. Okay. All right. On my other portfolio today, looks like we were up pretty much. Looks like we were up 1.50%. Again, uh, Tesla was my top stock here. 5% made a little over $500. Also, Ford was up 4.88%, made $70. AMD was up 4.99%. And ChargePoint, ChargePoint was up 10.44%, uh, made a little $65. Now, I do have a larger point position. I'm looking to add in my position. I have a little over 50 shares of ChargePoint right now. But I will be dollar cost averaging in so I can get my average down to about $10, okay? That was charge point up today, 10%. Second place was Lucid. Uh, Lucid was up 7.79%, where I made a little over $41, okay? So those were the top stocks. Overall, it was a good rally. Um, we saw uh, oil actually come back today, 3.61%. Also, we did see SoFi. SoFi is another one of my large positions where I own a little over 130 shares. So charge, uh, charge point, I'll have a large position in also SoFi Technologies, the new FinTech bank. Also something to keep your eye on, uh, Virgin Galactic did uh, jump today up over 12% on news with a partnership of another major space company. So that's good news for if you're still invested some in Virgin Galactic, I know that a lot of people have exited. I, I did sell quite a bit when it was $50-something per share. 
But anyway, uh, Virgin Galactic had a major partnership this week, and that's why the stock jumped over 12%. Okay, so that's my update for the day. Again, you can catch my posts on Instagram. You'll see that I post my top stocks here on Instagram. Uh, and yesterday as well, I posted where you can see Lucid, Microsoft, Apple, America Tower. Uh, you see all my gains uh, on Instagram sometimes, but most of the time I just post the uh, percentages, okay? So that was my video for today. My top stocks, again, was ChargePoint. Uh, ChargePoint was up over 10% on the day. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. And if you'd like to get started in your investing journey today, please use my Robinhood link below and have a great evening.